you know, this is the season where pollution levels are high. This is the season where winter is seeping in. Everybody is constantly coughing. There is a flu also now in the air. First, tell us, when you meet a patients and when you're interacting with people, what is it that you hear most from them this time of the year? Yeah, so one, as you correctly said, the flu is in season. Yes, we are reporting flu cases even in our hospitals. But yes, people are catching infections for having fever and constantly having wheezing and coughing. They also attribute it to pollution besides the weather. So it's like a combined effect of the weather transition Correct. and the pollution that exists. And then the question, what do we do? You can't stay indoors all the time. Yeah. You can't, you know, doctors are advising not to go out and get into very physical activities. So with diet how can we change it yeah so you know one great thing about food is that it, it can help you remove a lot of toxins from the body right. when there is pollution or when you're in an environment which has heavy metals the lead the cadmium mercury all forms of heavy heavy metals especially with the exhaust fumes and all that are getting into your system they tend to deposit in your body because they have no metabolic pathway hmm. you want to get rid of that and by the way nature has made it beautifully if you eat a lot of things called animal antioxidants, hmm. eat a lot of things which are potent in removing those toxins from the hmm. body, you can do a lot of good. So, so take care so of it in a big way. So you're saying an anti-pollution detox diet is available? Is there in front yeah. of us? Is that what you're saying? It was always available sooner. Yeah. In fact, you know, it's just that now we, we're trying to take more cognizance of it. You're all more cautious yeah. about what we And eat. also because our diet has changed in the mm. last 10, 20, 30 years, mm. we need to revisit our diet back. Okay, so what know? are the few things you think everybody, our viewers, you and I can incorporate in our diet to ensure that we help in and, you know, get more antioxidants in our body? Yeah. So to start with, if you see pointers, mm. basic antioxidants of vitamin A, Mm. vitamin C, vitamin E, a lot of uh, you know minerals like magnesium, selenium, zinc, these micronutrients. Mm. And the good news is that most of them are found in the same category of foods, okay. which is millets and whole lentils and beans, mm. lots of colorful vegetables, the rainbow mm. vegetables and fruits, and a little bit of seeds and healthy fats. Mm. So if you can get your category of good fats, a little bit of seeds and nuts, a little mm. bit of lots of fruits and vegetables of all mm. colors, a little bit of millets and some whole lentils and beans. Hmm. You will get enough supply of vitamin C and E and A and of course magnesium, zinc, selenium and many other micronutrients, hmm. chromium that we are hmm. looking at. That's a, that's a lot of stuff. Tell me if you know people who go to work in the morning who don't have time yeah. and are constantly juggling yeah. with so trying to eat the right thing yeah. and you know still get on with their lives in this very busy crazy right. world that we live in. What are the few things they can always just keep in their little tiffin box and ensure that they keep popping through the day yeah. to ensure that you're balanced? So I think one one thing that we can all start doing is replace our breakfast, not eat out of a box, not eat bread or something which is completely devoid of nutrition okay. and replace it with some real food. It could just mm. be a basin pancake with lots of veggies thrown into it right. or a porridge. You can make it in the evening and warm it and have it in the morning, mm. you know. So a porridge or a basin pancake or a moong dal pancake or just sprouts with lots mm. of veggies. So you can start your day with a good cereal or a lentil mm. with vegetables in it. Mm. So one of it is done. So you're not having those box things which have absolutely no mm, nutrition. Mm. That's one. Of course, adding a little bit of lemon and citrus things and buttermilk helps it picks up even more, you know. Mm. Nowadays, people start their day with turmeric water. They start it with, you know, black pepper and cinnamon oil fused mm. into water because they know there's a lot of carminative property of mm. these spices. Of course, carrying, you can carry a lot of food. You can carry mm. nuts. I'm, I'm carrying some buna chana in life for my mm. snack, you know, mm. when I get hungry. So a lot of roasted nuts, buna chana, mm. just carry, you know, some cut fruit, just carry some sticks of carrots, a little mint mm. chutney or something mm. that you can keep. But there's a little bit of planning required to do it. Yeah, it's not yeah. as easy as picking up a cookie packet mm. and eating it, you know. Yeah. But, True. It's but jaggery, is, is that a solution? A lot of people are talking yeah. about the, you know, the impact jaggery can have. Yes, so, so you see in industrially mm. also jaggery is used. For example, if you go to Muradabad and see those brass factories, mm. they give jaggery to the workers every day after that. Really? Because there's a lot yeah. of heavy metal in the air that they're working Correct. and it settles into your lungs. So jaggery is a natural way of detoxing your yourself mm. from that heavy metal. Similarly, people who live in a lot of dusty environment, like if you go to Rajasthan and all, they mm. also eat a lot of jaggery and ghee mm. because naturally sort yeah. of 
acts like an elixir for your lung in a Correct. big way. So jaggery, of course, in all forms, make some dil jaggery mm. laddu and have one piece every mm. day, you know. Mm. Or jaggery, add it to your other things which mm. replace Almonds as Almonds can be dipped in jaggery, makhanas yeah, can be dipped yeah, in jaggery. Yeah. So everything, you know, you know rajgira, work. which is a, a great millet to have, Correct. which Indians eat a lot, mm. that with jaggery makes a very tasty thing a little I do that you can have and it's a great way of replacing your dessert the cupcakes and the chocolates yeah, also. Yeah, great. You know we're going to keep that in mind. Thank you so much today for joining yeah, us. So those are the few things uh, and the tips that you can keep in mind once you set out and like we said there is a pollution detox diet as well. So get started and get kicking on that one.